The Whitewater Baldy Fire Complex continues to burn tonight in the Gila National Forest. More than 25,000 acres have been destroyed so far. About 57 structures, including homes and cabins, are still threatened in the small community of Willow Creek. No homes have yet been lost. Late today, KRQE News 13 pilot reporter Bob Martin circled that wildfire in Sky Ranger. As strong winds blasted the Mogollon Mountains of the Gila National Forest from the west, the Whitewater and Baldy fires surged through the forest. One of the biggest concerns along the northern flank of the Whitewater fire on the road between Mogollon and Snow Lake. Late in the day, the Whitewater fire was right on the doorstep of the little summer community of Willow Creek, flames less than a mile from the homes here. An earlier precautionary evacuation became mandatory. All across this part of the forest and due to the dangerously fast-moving wind-driven flames, firefighters on the ground were not able to attack directly. Aircraft were limited to survey and patrol missions. The turbulence close to the ground too extreme for air tankers or helicopters to drop any water or retardant. Most of the fire ground is inside the Gila wilderness. Much of the terrain extremely rugged, making deployments of firefighters on foot risky in the best of conditions, much less in light of the unpredictable nature of this fire. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13 at the Gila National Forest. Mark, it's hard to imagine worse conditions to be out there fighting a, yeah. a fire like that. Yeah, you're right. And if you look at some of the topography here, if you're just looking at a map, if you go on Google Earth or something like that, you can see what they're dealing with. It's a very difficult go. And when you're talking about winds 40 to 50 miles an hour today, Dean, it was near impossible. Here's a look.